me do it from all over. What's the name of it? Beaumont. Just 
just arrived in Chicago. Ethel McCormick and her son, Ron, is it? Ren. Huh? Speak up! Put the Lord in your voice! Ren! Ren? Ren McCormick! Interesting name. Is it short for something? Nope. <laughs> My wife Vi and our daughter Ariel in this morning's convocation. God is love, follow him and never roam. He has made the stars above just to light your way. Where? A really ugly sheep. <laughs> 
Oh, hey, baby. You miss me? <laughs> hey there, Ariel. Oh, hey, Travis. Bye, little girls. Oh, my God. Did I interrupt your weekly poetry club meeting? Very funny. So what's with that new guy in church? Who? Oh, him. A Chicago transplant with all the charm and sophistication that comes from living in a bustling metropolis. Should I be jealous? I'm counting. Get that? 
was that supposed to be some sort of stupid joke? That's actually a really good joke. I'm just trying to kill you. Kill me! What? Kill me! That's the most exciting thing I've ever heard since I hit this cow! Friend, Friend McCormick, and you are? Willard. Willard here. Well, Willard, what are you doing around here for a good time? Do you have any clubs? Nope. What about movies? Nope. What about balls? Nope. Nope, nope, and yeah, nope. Oh, we do have a whole lot of down by the industry. Oh, wow, I really admire you. I can never do the things in Chicago that you guys get to do here. Oh, yeah? What do we do? Nothing! I never walk when I can run. I don't believe I ever could. People try to slow me down. Saying, boy, you will and should. Kick back and chill, but I can't stand still. Doctor, he said, son, I cannot offer you a pill So then I never found relief And now I've got to move until I've had my fill I can't stand still Back where I come from Life's never humdrum I wish I could take you there Whoa We have the world at our feet Life is sweet, ain't no doubt Grab a seat and check it out! Whoa! I thought it never would end, but I've lost it somehow. But you look at me now. I'm trying hard to tone it down. Gotta watch my P's and Q's. Maybe look before I leave. But then I think, hey, what's Somebody kill me because I can't stand Sheriff's Office published an autopsy report. 
Claim there was marijuana and alcohol in their blood. The larger one in this town went nuts. And that's when Reverend Moore got so righteous. He started blaming anything and everything. Liquor, drugs, rock and roll. And dancing? You got it. He convinced the town council that it was a sin and all, and just like that, they passed this law. Wait a minute. Reverend Moore has that kind of power? Reverend Moore, he is the power. He's the law! Ah, how can you guys stand to live like this? Practice. Here's a practice. It's not like Chicago. It must be so cool to live in a city where you can walk down the streets and get mugged by people you don't even know. <laughs> what is that? I just thought the movie would be perfect, you know, like, it would be one big ass family. <laughs> oh, let me tell you about that family. There's tongues wagging every time you make a move. There's fingers pointing every time you turn around. There's head shaking the minute you cross the line. And there's eyes everywhere. Hiding in the great unknown. Uh huh. And every time that you said you're alone.
Mommy, Dad. Darling. Wait, what's this? Don't tell me. Um, Haydn. The second sonata. The fourth. Oh, the fourth is right. This is kind of music, it's okay, huh, Daddy? Meaning? She was just making a joke, Shaw. I am well aware of that, Vi. This type of music is uplifting and doesn't confuse the mind. Are you working on your sermon? I am. Remember when I was a kid? On Saturdays, Bobby and I would sit in the back pew and listen to you practice over and over. I do indeed. And we would clap and you bow, remember? We well, seem to have outgrown that. Shaw! Oh, oh, what just happened? Did I say something wrong? Your father's had a difficult day. I can speak for myself by. Honey, why don't you finish setting the table? <laughs> yeah, I'm not really that friendly. Shaw, if you're angry with Ariel, please just tell her why. I'm not angry, I'm concerned. Then get to the point, you two speak and nothing gets said. Have you seen her with this Chuck Cranston? The last time I walked in on the two of them. You told me. He has a record of arrest by... And the more you object, the more intrigued she's gonna be. So I should just hold my peace? Well, I do, and I pray that her infatuation with Chuck Cranston lasts no longer than mine with Elliot Crislow. <laughs> Elliot Crusoe was not an overheated delinquent. Oh, he most certainly was. <laughs> this is not funny. I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Well, I can't. I'm worried about where Ariel is, what she's doing. You can't expect her to sit at home with us. Let's stop this conversation right here. Oh, conversation? Bye. I seem to have walked into one of your sermons. Please. Let's not say anything you might regret.
Rising up. 
joining these ladies for dinner? <laughs> what I say, hey, what am I, talking to myself? You're right, honey, but calm down. Whoa, don't you ever tell me to calm down. Don't you ever tell me what to do. I know what your friends think about me, and that's a load of crap. I'm the best part of this town, baby, and those three dogs are going to be tied up under the porch. Let's go. No. Get in the truck. No. Excuse me? I said no. What part of that don't you understand? Oh, when the preacher's daughter says no to me, baby, it just makes me hot. Say it again. Stop it. Chuck, stop. I believe the lady said no. And I believe this is none of your business. Ren, don't. Ariel, who invited this clown? Oh, I'm sorry. We've never been formally introduced. Ren McCormick. Get your hand out of my face and get your face out of my sight. Hey, Chuck, you looking for a fight? That's part. Whoa, 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 Miller! Miller, don't lose me. Chuck. Let me deal. I'm on now. Hey, hey, hey! What do you have, Brother here? No, not at all, ma'am. We're just discussing the safety and concern of one of your valued customers over here. <laughs> you guys thought that was funny? Cranston, your pickup truck is in the handicapped parking, which is a space we like to reserve for people with physical, not emotional disabilities. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen the last of me, McCormack. Get on. <laughs> Can I please lay him out? Willis, what's that your mom said? Don't make a fist unless it's your fight. Yes, ma'am. This is not your fight. Now, don't the rest of you have a curfew? And McCormick. I know, ma'am. I'll turn my skates. Now listen to me. I'll see you here after school tomorrow. Really? So I'm not fired? Well, not yet. And I'll get you a push on you. Thank you. <laughs> Which do you think? I haven't made up my mind yet. Do you want to see something? Don't you have a curfew? Right! Please, my daddy invented that stuff. Don't you think rules are made to be broken? Come on! Come on! Somebody's waiting to show they don't talk 
Mary, you were all in order. 75 cents. <coughs> and remember, you owe me a buck and a quarter. Eleanor, why is the only place my faith seems to fail me? Not the bridge table. <laughs> Come to on, just say hi to everybody. <laughs> hey, uh, you all remember Ren McCormick? Daddy? Ren? Hi, Reverend Moore. Hi, Coach. Hi, Mrs. Reed. Hi, Mrs. Moore. Welcome, Ren. Oh, poker night? Cool. <laughs> hey, Muriel. All this time without you back upstairs in your room. Doing your homework? It's hard to enforce curfew in my congregation, but I can't seem to enforce one in my own home. Well, what's the old saying? It's the shoemaker's children who always go barefoot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at the time? Sure, empty a room. Such a rare talent. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. I can assure you it was not meant that way. Ah! Ah! I believe this is yours. <laughs> Ren, thanks for, you know. Walking you home? Yeah, that too. Well, Reverend, this was fun, don't you think? Somebody's eyes are seeing you come and go. Boy, I sure flew in there, didn't I? Yeah, you did. It's just, I get nervous, I go crazy, and then I end up putting my foot in my mouth. Your mother said you were good at it, but I had no idea. <laughs>
as you were called, but you get off of my back.
Woke up in the daylight, don't remember last night. I just know I wasn't alone. I'm partying in the fast lane, I was feeling no pain. Somebody carry me home. Now I kick up the sheets, run for the streets. I've got a punch a clock, but my knees are going one way. Woo, my feet. Something in the ozone, shivers on my backbone, making me rock and roll. I'm shimmy up the sidewalk, faster than a TikTok. People think I'm out of control. I'm a dome.
I was just looking for Ariel. Isn't a little late, Mr. Cranston? Yes, sir. That's why I'm so surprised she's not at home. So am I. Good night, Mr. Cranston. <coughs> and next time, please remember, we have a front door for guests. Yes, sir. <coughs> Where is she? She told me she went to Wendy Joe's to study. But don't bother calling, she's not there. Did you know about this? No, I did not. So how does it feel, Vi? Now she's lying to you, too. I'm not saying anything to you until I hear an explanation from her. It's bad enough that she's out in this truck Cranston. Now she's out in the middle of the night with a young punk can to challenge me and the entire town council. How long are you defending her? I'm not defending her. We're not on opposite sides here, are we? Or are we? Where were you? Um, rest here, leave when each other. Don't even bother. We know that you weren't at Wendy Joe's. I can't believe you're checking up on me. Honey, how do we know that you're not sick or hurt? I am concerned for your well-being. Then how come when I'm at home, you don't care what I'm thinking or how I feel? The, the minute I walk out that door, wham! Suddenly you're the concerned parent. You know, Bobby spent his whole life trying to make you proud. What? He made good grades. He went to church every Sunday. God help him because he made one mistake. Now nobody remembers the good things about Bobby. Nobody remembers that damn high money bridge accident. Why can't we have a school dance? Because of Bobby. Why do we have this stupid curfew? Because of Bobby. Bobby's to blame for all this crap? You will lower your voice and speak with a civil tongue. Isn't home where we're supposed to talk about our problems? It's been three years since my brother died. And I've been losing my mind. I've been going insane. And you don't even see, you don't even care. Of course I care. We don't expect you to understand that everything we do is intended to keep you safe. Stop it, I hate when you treat me like a child. Well, whether you like it or not, you are my child. Shaw, listen to what she's saying. Stop taking your side. That's not answering for herself. I don't know what that would do. You don't listen to her anyone you listen to me. Shaw! I don't know what came over me. Never hit anyone in my life. I swear you two are alike. You do have your pain in extremes. I am her spiritual guardian. You used to be her friend. I don't understand what's going on anymore. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. Can you find it in your heart to forgive her? Can you stop and see there's part of her that's trying to obey? While part of her is dying to run away. Can't you hear what she's trying to say? Can you find it in your soul to accept her? If she stumbles on your holy path, do you have to reprimand? Or are there ways to make her understand? up so high, they have to look down to some heaven. It's one on one where you need a little work. Well, at least you believe to me. I never stopped. Does it ever cross your mind that I miss you? Is there any chance so we'll find the joy that we shared at the start? Can't you remember what you felt before that feeling fell apart? Can you find it in your heart? Have you 
otherwise, I'm just going to disappear like him. I wish I could be more like you. But you're pretty wonderful, as far as I can see. Yeah? Well, what do you see? Someone who's smart. Thank you. Maybe a little bit angry. Maybe a lot. And someone who's sad. I was wondering where that came from. Now you know. What? I just... I never felt like anyone's really stopped looking at me. Thought that dreams belong to other men. Cause each time I get close, they fall apart again. I feared my heart would be in secrecy. I faced the nights alone. Oh, how could I have known that all my
name is Ren McCormick, and <laughs> on behalf of most of the senior class at Beaumont High School, I move that Local Ordinance 416, a law which prohibits dancing within the Beaumont town limits, be abolished. And I will adhere it on 385 Cloverdale Road, second at <laughs> Mr. McCormick, you want to change our law to throw a dance. That is your right. But it is my duty to challenge any enterprise with my experience that fosters alcohol, the abuse of drugs, and most importantly, celebrates spiritual corruption. And I think you'll find that most folks in this community will agree with me. You got that right! Now, if anyone can prove to me that there is no danger in your raucous party plans, I might reconsider my stance. But for now, no. I can't condone it. I believe that a vote is an earth. Well, Excuse uh, me, isn't there some kind of a discussion here? Now just a minute, discussion is closing. You are out of order. It's outrageous, it's Susan! Susan, sit down. I believe that Mr. McCormick has the right to be heard. Yeah! <laughs> I wasn't here three years ago when tragedy struck this town. And I know it's not my place to mourn the lives that were lost because I didn't know them. But like a lot of students at Beaumont, I see the pictures every day at school. And every time I see these pictures, I'm reminded of how precious life is and how quickly it can be taken away from us. I know this firsthand in my own way. And three years ago, more than a dozen laws were introduced to this council in order to protect the children of Beaumont. I can see how most of these laws, as a parent, make sense to all of you. But my right to dance, when I want, where I want, or how I want, is a right you cannot simply take away from me. It's mine! You see, we don't have that much time left, all those teenagers. Soon, we're all going to be just like you. We're going to have jobs, bills, and families. And then to add to that, we're going to have our own children to worry about. Because that's the job of a parent, to worry. But ours as kids is to live, play our music way too loud, and act like idiots! <laughs> and to make mistakes. And aren't we told in Psalm 123, Praise the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and let them praise His name in the dance. Now, if anyone else brought their Bible, like I did. Will you please turn to the book of Samuel 6.14. David danced before the Lord with all his might, leaping and dancing before the Lord, celebrating his love of God and celebrating his love of life. With what? Dancing! That's all we're doing here! And Ecclesiastes assures us there's a time and place for each purpose under heaven. A time to laugh, and a time to weep, a time to mourn, and there is a time to dance. And there was a time for this law, but not anymore. This is our time, our time to celebrate life. That's the way it was in the beginning, that's the way it's always been, and that's the way it should be now. Thank you! <laughs>
what? Make him reconsider. Me? You. Him? Yep. When? Now. Red, Mom. stop. <laughs> Until you do, you'll never make peace with that man or this town. I didn't convince him in there. He wasn't listening in there. Make him listen. What can I say that I haven't already said? I read my speech. I felt my Bible. Speak from your heart. Morris is a really smart man. And so are you. He's stubborn. <laughs> and you're not? You know your dad would be so proud of you right now. Well, gotta get home. Don't go lose down your aunt and uncle. I love you, Bob. You have no choice. Now go! <laughs> And the disciples came to Jesus and said to him, Master, why is it that we can't do such things? And Jesus said, Because you have so little faith. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible. For with faith, any... Who's there? Oh, it's me, sir. It's Ren McCormick. Ren, talk to someone else. My son used to sit there and watch me practice. I um. Well, with me, it's ball games. Excuse me? Well, you just hear so many fathers calling after their own kids. You know, some of them start to sound like your own dad. Sometimes I think I can really hear him. My boy Bobby was taken from us so suddenly. Can't remember the last thing I said to him. Yeah, it isn't so easy with time either. I thought with my dad, there's always going to be this day when we get to say all of our goodbyes, but death is on its own clock. Yes, it is. Look, I know that you and the council voted against having to dance, but that's not going to stop it from happening. Betty gave us permission to use her barn, and with your permission, sir, I would like to take Ariel to the dance. And I'll have you know right now, I would never do anything to hurt her or, or to disrespect her, and I sure as hell wouldn't let anyone else. Oh, I didn't mean to swear in your church, sir. I'm sorry. It wouldn't be the first time. It's just the dance means a lot to me. You know that, but Ariel, she means way more. And if you don't let her go, then I'm not going to go. But I know you've got to do what you've got to do. Thank you, Cora. Um, thank you. When souls come to me for protection, I guide them whatever the cost. But while I've been giving direction, maybe it's me who got lost. Heaven help me find my way now. Open up my heart again. Help me find the words to say now. Heaven help me. Oh, heaven help me. I've insisted on taking responsibility for your lives, but I'm really just like a first-time parent. And like that parent, I find myself at that time when I have to decide, do I hold on? Do I let you go? Do I leave you to yourselves and hope that you've understood my lessons? If we never start trusting our children, how will they ever become trustworthy? 
I am told that the senior class at Beaumont High School has acquired a barn in nearby Basin County to hold the dance. I think that might be a good idea. So please join me in keeping them in our prayers that the Lord may guide them in their endeavors. Teach me how to say 